<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? So today I am planting up a few window boxes that are still empty. I have not planted a single thing in them all season long and I can't believe we're nearing the end of June and I still haven't done it. It actually got to a point where I thought, eh, maybe I just won't do it this year. <laughs> do you guys ever have those years where it kind of gets to a point where you're like, does it even matter if I plant it? <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at at this point. However, I do have some really beautiful plants um, that I've rounded up. I have no idea exactly how I'm gonna put these things together. Um, and Benjamin's out here, we're playing with bubbles because guess who didn't take a nap today? This little dude. No nap, he's usually napping at this time during the afternoon. And it is also 98 degrees, so this is a perfect project to tackle. One that's in the shade where we can just kind of chill. So let me show you the window boxes because they look so awesome right now. So there's the first one. Isn't that a dandy? There's another one. I'm growing some manner of weed in here. I have no idea. This doesn't look like anything I planted before. Interesting. And then the other one I'm gonna to tackle today is this one right here, which has some remnants from last year. So we've got the two Bruneras, which still look really good. I need to clean them up a little bit, but look at that. It's beautiful foliage. And then there's a Ruby Glow Euphorbia. This is the only plant I think I'm gonna actually just take out and I'll repot it somewhere else. But I think I'll leave the Bruneras and the Ivy and just kind of fill in around the edges. And you can see this has a drip system set up to it. So it looks super dry, but when you kind of dig in here, it is fairly moist. Um, this was, I wanna say like it is kind of older soil. I'm just gonna recharge it with biotone because honestly with these perennials, I really don't wanna do a full clean out. And here's my soil to top them off. Thank you, Aaron. Has arrived. Yeah. Hey, maybe daddy will play bubbles with you, bud. Here are a few of the plants. So I've got the gator up here. I backed it into the shade so they'd all be happy. And then this cart full right here. I've got these gorgeous autumn brilliance ferns, which I did use a few of in that basket right over there. We've got some coral colored impatiens and these are just the type, let me grab one, that you can buy in the six packs. These actually do really well in our landscape. Like if I have any left over, I might plant them right in here. I've got some lungwort, this is pulmonaria. This is a new one for next year. It's called Spot On. Isn't that the most beautiful look on those leaves? I just love it. I've got a little bit in a flower bed planted right over here. I've also got some Wicked Hot Coleus that has some hard water staining on it. I need to clean those up a bit. And then in the gator, I've got another of the spot on pulmonaria. I've got Chocolate Drop Coleus, the Sweet Heart Lime Sweet Potato Vine, which the tags on these say sun or part sun, but I find that they do real well in the shade too for us. I've got some glacier, not glacier. This is Patricia Ivy right there. And this has been overhead watered in our greenhouse. Check that out. But the new growth looks really nice right here. And so I'm hoping that new growth pushes out and covers this over. I've got a couple of sweet potato vine called Sweet Caroline Red Hawk. More Impatience, more Coleus. There's some Golden Dreams Coleus there, the Ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try to set a camera up close up so you guys can see everything that goes into these window boxes. I'll probably match the two smaller ones. So we've got two three foot boxes. And then of course, the one behind Aaron right there will be a little bit different obviously because the Brunner is already in there. And I always feel like I typically pick kind of the same types of plants, the same colors of flowers. So even if they're different on the same side of the house, they're all cohesive enough to where it's not something that you're like, whoa, they had some different ideas, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm just gonna set the camera up and get these done, and then I'll give you a grand tour in the end. I could really use like a light breeze right now. That'd be really nice. P.S. I also forgot I have some caladiums in here too. Really pretty ones. Might use these, and these probably shouldn't be in the sun, so I'm gonna back the gator up. Good job. And yeah, I think it turned out really pretty and it's fairly simple. It's a little bit hard to see in the camera, really easy to see in real life, but when you've got the contrast of these two colors, like when I back up like this, the ridiculous kind of disappears in the camera at least. I don't know. 
I never know. What happened, babe? Oh, did you throw your bubble wand? Yep. Here you go. And he'll throw it. One more. Yep. That's his new thing. His new thing is to throw all the things. Probably need to curb that. A little bit. <laughs> Probably. Anyway, I've got one fern in the center, two radiculous coleus, which I'm going to have to keep pinched. This one's actually blooming a little bit, which is way earlier. This year, my radiculous coleus is growing a little bit differently than it did last year. And the color is also a little bit different. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, I think it looks pretty. Uh oh. Did you throw it too many times? Yeah. Or are you just kind of tired because you didn't take a nap today? Oh, come here, sweetie. Want hugs? Come here. Mm, I love you. And then I've got two chocolate drop coleus, so one here and one there, which I will have to keep these trimmed or pinched way back because these are really aggressive <laughs> growers. Like it, when I had these in the window boxes up front there around the corner, they grew almost all the way down to the ground from the window box height um, because I just, I wanted to see what they would do and it was just nuts. I couldn't even believe it. Um, and then I've got, I used four of the six packs of the Impatience and I just go ahead and plant the entire six pack all in the same spot because they're all so small. If I were to separate them, they would look way too like scant. So anyway, fairly simple, a lot of foliage interest, but I think it's really beautiful and very peaceful looking. So I'm going to mirror the same thing in this one real quick. Box number one, box number two is done. We're gonna take a quick break to go fix Benjamin some dinner. Ready to eat? Okay. Yeah. Daddy's grilling something. Pizza. A pizza? No. no. Chicken. chicken. Is Daddy grilling some chicken? <laughs> what is Daddy grilling? Come look at my chicken. My yeah. Let's go look at it, babe. Daddy's grilling up some chicken. Oh, Italian sausage. Good thing we got the big grill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is what it always looks like. Yeah. There's like three steaks or three pieces of chicken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it works. This is Gucky over here, huh? Mama needs to do some cleaning. All right. Also, Mama needs to wash her hands. He already told me that. <laughs> Need some soap, bud? Oh, I like it. Here you go. Other hand. Okay, now you need to rub them together like this. Oh, Mama's hands are yucky. What? It's hot. Oh, that is hot, baby. Ah, I touched the other one. Oh, dry, dry, dry. Dry, dry, dry. Let me rub my hands. You washed your hands. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, touch faucet. <laughs> All right, dinner's done. Benjamin's in there playing with cars. So I am gonna finish this last window box. So we're gonna try to keep the Brunnera and the Ivy and just to remove the Ruby Glow Euphorbia. Here we go. That already looks a lot better. So I'll have to figure out some sort of centerpiece and then some fillers for the rest of it. Who is that? Sitting on the dining room table, naughty. Russell. Do you find the sprinkler bud? It's not on very much anymore. 
We need to turn the hose up higher. All right, well, I've got a mess to clean up. That's the last little bit before I water them in. The blower really has some kick to it. It does, thank you. So, they look great. They're all a little bit different, but they all kind of look alike, don't they? Yeah. Like if you kind of just span the wall, I don't know. Just a lot of leaves and pink flowers. Did you the same plants in that one? Yeah. Did you? I left the ivies and the two Brunneras. Wow. Let me point them out to you. Because I'm really quite uh, happy. <laughs> well, no, I'm impressed with the plants. So these two ivies, okay. I didn't touch the ivies at all to clean them up. I cleaned up the Brunneras and there's like a little bit of space they need to fill in. But I think they look pretty good given yeah. the fact that I just figured out, you guys, that the water was stopping right here. One of the emitters had blown, so no water was making it. I, it hasn't, couldn't have been for very long. No. Because this basket wasn't suffering yet. But still. What are you doing? Oh, he found the sprinkler. We kind of need to move that sprinkler around a little bit, huh, bud? All right, so now let's take a close look at all of them. So we already checked this one out. I'm really loving that blend. I think it's really pretty. Of course, this one is exactly the same, so not much to see there. And then this one I'm really pleased with. I mean, it has some growing to do. So in the center, I put a Golden Dreams Coleus and then I flanked it with some Wicked Hot, which I already mentioned has hard water stains and I just need it to grow a little bit so that it covers that. And this one was a little bit smaller than this one. You know how it goes. It's hard to find things sometimes that match exactly. The Brenneras look pretty good. I could have cleaned, like honestly, I could have cut this one all the way back because the leaves are semi-damaged um, and then it would regrow, but I left those on there just enough. It will start pushing growth now that I put more biotone in the soil and it will be getting more consistent water. This Brennera looked a little bit better, but still like it has some growing to do to fill in. The ivies that have been here since last year look amazing. Like so fresh and beautiful and clean. Like they don't even look dusty. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Usually everything's dusty around here. Um, and then the Red Hawk Ipomoea, this one's already starting to wilt. Well, no, it's not wilting. It's just the way it was growing in its can. It needs to correct itself. Um, so it needs to start growing down rather than the way it was growing, kind of weird. Uh, and then we've got two of the pineapple coleus on either side. Yeah, baby. Oh my goodness, you got right up there, didn't you? Look at you. <laughs> Do you think it's a trampoline? Here you go. One, two, three, jump. Good job. And then I did pop two ivies in, one on either end here, so that I could hopefully, like I'll have the um, Ipomoea trailers and then the ivies kind of spread throughout so that the whole thing will have spillers throughout it. And then the very last box, we did this one a while ago and it's been awesome. I've got the hookerellas in there, which you can see what they look like. Like, I wonder if we could put a picture up what they look like when we very first planted this. They had a lot more color, but this, this basket doesn't get any sun or ve like very little sun. So this is what they look like when they don't get as much sun. They just don't color up as dark or as vibrant, but I still really like them. And then this one has two of the Autumn Brilliance ferns. It's got some apricot begonias. I popped some of the impatiens in so that when you look down the way here, all of them look extremely similar even though they all have slightly different plants. And that is it for these window boxes. I don't have any other window boxes to plant. I already did the ones on the other side. The small one I did last year um, with it. We should go over there real quick. Do you wanna come over here real quick, baby? I really wanna show, I wanna show them the window box on the other side real quick. Do you wanna ride over there? Okay. We're gonna take a little ride over to the other side of the house. Oh, bumpy, it's bumpy. Is it bumpy? So now we're on the other side of the house. These I just did Wicked Hot, uh, Torchlight, and Golden Dreams Coleus with Ivy. Super simple, I just planted these. So these Coleus, once they really start bulking up, it'll be really pretty, I think. A lot of really pretty color and texture difference. And then this window box, do you remember this one? I planted this one last spring using only things that I had left over from the previous year. Um, so this, essentially the plants in here are three years old and they're still rocking it. I mean, like it could stand to have a little more color in there, but I'm really happy with it because it's so incredibly low maintenance. Lemon cypress in the center, 
two hookerellas, one on either side, a duckfoot ivy, and two gold child ivies. All of which were repurposed last spring, lasted all year last year. I have not touched them once this year and I'm just gonna let them go this whole year. And that is the benefit of using perennials in your containers. Sometimes if you're willing to like splash a little water on them throughout the winter, then you can have a container full of beautiful plants either in the same container or you can farm them out to different containers and use them from year to year. And they usually only just get better every single year. They grow bigger and thicker and more awesome. So if you guys still have containers you haven't planted, I hope this makes you feel better. <laughs> because even those of, those of us who do it all the time and like we do it as our job, sometimes we don't get around to it either. And it's just one of those things. I mean, it makes me super happy to have those done over there. And I'm so glad that I didn't like succumb to the whole like attitude of like, does it really matter to plant it at this point? Because it does, you know? I mean, we'll have the whole rest of this season and into the like deep fall to look at these planters and we'll be able to enjoy them. And I don't know, it'll feel more complete over there. Anyway, it brings me joy to walk by things like that, that I just like kind of suck it up, come out here when it's 98 degrees, get it planted and yeah. We're proud of ourselves, huh bud? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye.